This transaction, shot on hidden camera inside a Moroccan liquor store, is against the law, in principle. In practice, it's more complicated. It's ambiguous. It's ambiguous. Jamal Latifi is general manager of a bar and restaurant that's an institution in Rabat. It's a choice personal, of course. It's a choice personal. I'm a good Muslim. I do Ramadan. I do my prayer. Je fais la Eid Sreer, je fais la Eid Kbir, mais euh, quand il y a une bonne bouteille de vin, euh, je suis prêt. A 1967 royal decree prohibits the sale of alcohol to Muslims, 98% of Morocco's population. Officially, bars and liquor stores serve only foreigners. And in theory, it's 123,000 acres of vineyards produce wine for tourists. But even the government admits the law is rarely enforced, and in practice, legions of Moroccans buy alcohol in stores and drink it in restaurants. So when you have a license of alcohol, it's written in noir sur blanc that it is strictly to serve alcohol to Muslims. It's noted, but it's tolerated. In the last several months, some Islamists here have been pushing to change the status quo. A cleric named Ahmed Risouni published a religious edict, or fatwa, on the internet in December urging Muslims to boycott any supermarket that sells alcohol. Rizuni has ties with the Justice and Development Party, Morocco's Islamist opposition. Party leaders have downplayed his fatwa, but maintained that the 1967 royal decree needs to be enforced. La tendance dans le monde, c'est lutter contre l'alcoolisme. C'est pas ouvrir les vannes pour euh, l'alcool. Donc on a dit, on maintient la loi, et de temps en temps, on pousse le gouvernement à appliquer la loi. But the fatwa has prompted Moroccan civil liberties activists to put forth their own demand that the ban on selling alcohol be lifted. C'est un peu hypocrite et n'est pas réaliste cette loi. Risi says the ban should be replaced with laws against selling alcohol to minors and drunk driving and be paired with an education campaign. Il faut sensibiliser. Maintenant, la, la consommation augmente avec l'interdiction. The debate seems to represent a struggle between two opposing visions of Moroccan Islam. Est-ce qu'il y a des gens qui veulent plaire à l'Occident? C'est malheureux qui se considère que la modernité, c'est de dire qu'il faut vendre l'alcool, il faut qu'il y ait la prostitution, il faut qu'il y ait des homosexuels, il faut libéraliser parce que malheureusement, il y a une pression de l'extérieur. Risi argues the Islamists are themselves serving an outside agenda by importing a less tolerant, un-Moroccan form of Islam. Ces groupes, comme Rissoni en particulier, s'alimentent d'une culture qui n'est pas la nôtre, celle du wahhabisme, de l'Arabie saoudite, où il y a des personnes qui viennent frapper à votre porte et vous disent « Est-ce que vous faites la prière ?» Nos parents n'ont jamais accepté ça. The debate continues, but the reality on the ground looks unlikely to change. The fact remains that booze is big business here in Morocco. The government makes millions from taxes on liquor imports and sales, and thousands of Moroccans are legally employed making alcohol here. Morocco produces 45 million bottles of wine each year, some 80% are sold domestically. La facture sociale et la facture auprès de l'État avec les impôts est largement suffisante que, pu que nous puissions continuer à exister pendant longtemps. The authorities show no sign of fully enforcing the ban, nor has there been any legislative effort to repeal the law. It looks like the status quo will hold for now.